In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a program outline for an SRC week celebration in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using if I want to download and practice. And in case you do and you want to show it up to me, you can hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok. Now, let's get into the video. Here in Photoshop, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the project. To do that, you press Ctrl N or you go to File and then New. We are going to create a banner, so we need to use or we need to measure it in feet. Unfortunately, you don't have the option for to choose feet in Photoshop. So we need to convert that into inches and then we can use that. To do that, you go to the measuring skills over here and we are going to select that to inches. And now once you convert your feet into inches, you can just type the figures over here. So we are going to use four by six. So when you convert that, you're going to get 48 and 72 inches. So I will just type 48 over here. That is the four feet and then 72 over here for the six feet. Now I'm going to reduce my resolution so that the size won't be that very huge. And after you've gotten all that you want, you go ahead and then you click on create. First things first, let's establish the background. We are going to add a gradient. To do that, you go to the create new fill or adjustment layer, and then you are going to choose gradient. Now you're going to select any gradient that you want, but for the purpose of this video, we've already set the gradient. So these are the colors that we are going to use. If you want to use the exact same colors, this is the first hex code and this is the second hex code after you've gotten all that you want you click ok and then you can come to the style over here so you click on the style and then you can choose radial now you can reposition it to any part that you want if you drag it to the side it goes up but i want to keep it right in the middle like that after you've gotten what you want you can then go ahead and click on ok the next thing you want to add is background that was provided by clients. So you go to file and then place embedded. So you go into where you saved your images and then we have this image right over here. So there's a picture of the student's body of the school that we are doing the banner for. So you're going to double click on that to import it into Photoshop and then you can transform it to make it a little bit bigger and then you take your time to position it to where you want it to feel. So we just want it to fill the very top part here. You can drag it up slightly like that. And now we want to right click, rasterize, and then we are going to desaturate this. To do that, you press Ctrl Shift, and then U, and then it gets desaturated. And then you're going to change the blend mode. So you go to the blend mode over here, and we are going to select somewhere along soft light. I want to add a layer max to this to get rid of the very hard edges so you add a layer mask and then you can choose your brush tool make sure that the brush tool is a bit bigger so you can use the square brackets to do that or better still you right click and then you increase or decrease the size and now we can brush off the very edges like so if the opacity feels too high for you you can reduce it slightly so that it doesn't appear too hard in the background so something like this should be fine the next thing we want to add is the school logo so we go to file place embedded and then we are going to import the school logo so there is the logo that was provided to me you bring it in and then you can transform it to make it nice now because the logo has blacks all around it you can just use the strategy of uh, blending mode to get rid of those black ones so all I need to do is go to the blend mode and play around with some of these things. So you start from the lightning over here and you realize that it takes off all the blacks and then you can actually use. So you play around with black screen and I think color dodge worked well for me. So you are going to go with color dodge. Afterwards, you can press Ctrl T and try to transform it. But this will depend on the logo that is provided for you though. And then you try to reshape it to make it look more circled instead of the one that was provided and then you can hit enter and this looks fine now you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered horizontally and you are good to go right on top of the backgrounds we can add one more background so you go to files place embedded and then you can bring in this abstract background that i downloaded from google 
once it is here you can right click rotate it 90 clockwise and then you can open up to cover the part that you want it to cover so in this case i want somewhere around here and then i can take my time to open it up like that right click on the layer and then you can rasterize it all right so just like we did to the first background let's desaturate this so Control plus shift plus u to desaturate we can bring it down slightly some more and then we are going to use the blend mode to blend this into the background as well so depending on the abstract background that you are using you can play with the blending mode so we go through here and personally for me the color dodge also worked very well so you can choose the color dodge over here but you realize that the edges are very sharp so we are going to add a layer max to it choose our brush tool and then we can get rid of the edges now once we're done with this we're done with the background and the images that we have to put on this the next set of things are going to be the test and then the main src week title so let's add the name of the school so the first font you're going to use is our favorite in fact we use our favorite throughout this video so pop in semi bold and then you are going to paste your test so you press ctrl t and then you can transform the test so you open it up like that you're going to press ctrl a and then you center it horizontal centers and then you take your time to position it like so now it is time to add the main theme that is the src week celebration and i did this using the 3d method of creating test which i have a full video tutorial on how to do that but just to give you a clue of how to do something like that once you type your test you're going to right click on the test and then you are going to choose new 3d extrusion from selected layer and then you can play around with all the properties in there to get something like what i'm going to use but if you want to also know how to do it in detail you can check out my full video on how to create a 3d test but then i've already done this and saved it as a png so we can go ahead and use that i'll leave it in the resources as well if you want to download it you can change the color to any type that you want so you go to file place embedded and then we are going to bring in our 3d src week so you take your time and then you can transform this nicely like that and you make sure that you position it in the middle so right over here and you double click on that so we are going to make a duplicate of this test you realize that the test is in lowercase over here but it appears all caps because of the all caps option that we've turned on in the toggle character so let's make a duplicate of this bring it down right over here and then we are going to change that to celebration so it is going to be src week celebration you press ctrl t and then you can transform it to make it a bit bigger something like that will be fine then you take your time and then you are going to position it on top here you press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered horizontally next up you're going to add the theme for the occasion so to do that you're going to first create a rounded rectangle so you select your rounded rectangle and then you can create a very small rounded rectangle somewhere around here it has to be a bit small like that so you can double click on the layer thumbnail over here and you're going to give it a different color so let's give it a color from this side so something like this should be fine and then you can click on ok inside of that we are going to choose our test tool hold shift and then we are going to type theme you press ctrl t and then you are going to transform it to make it bigger or at least something that can be seen the first one was very small so you take your time and then you position it to fill the rounded rectangle that you created you are then going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and drag it to the right side over here double click on that and then you are going to paste your theme or you are going to type your theme for the program over there so i'm just going to paste mine over here and now you press ctrl t you take your time and then you resize it afterwards you're going to push it up a little bit until it's almost on the same line with a rounded rectangle that you created and the theme that you've created over there now when you're done with all of that you can select the three press ctrl g to group that so that you can push it a little bit down or space it out from the celebration and you can press ctrl a and center it horizontally as well now you can press ctrl d to deselect right beneath the theme we are going to add the date so you right click on this the main theme you press ctrl j and you make a duplicate 
and then you can put your date over there so we are going to edit this one out and paste the date over there now you realize that it is also in this group so we don't want it in this group so what we can do is we can push it up out of this group so you just drag it on top of the group until you see this blue line and then you can leave it over there now we press ctrl a and then we can center it horizontally like that but then we need to give this a different color so let's go for something like yellow so we go to the color palette here and then we are going to give it a deep a different color let's go for something around or along these lines so something from here won't be bad let's make it a bit lighter something like this all right this is fine now we can go ahead and click on ok now it is time to add the main program outline let's zoom in here and then we are going to add a rectangle so let's go and pick the rectangle you right click on this and choose your rectangle and let's make a rectangle somewhere around here now we can double click on this layer thumbnail and then we are going to change the color of our rectangle to black so you choose the color black and then you can click on ok now we can reduce the opacity of this so you can use the opacity here you can reduce it slightly to the size that you want so let's reduce it to around 30 percent you can just hit on three or let's say two to 20 percent will be fine or better still 25 percent should be okay so i think somewhere around 40 okay so 40 looks fine for me we can reduce this one a little bit as well if it is too much so you can reduce the abstract background a little bit if it is too much and now we can type our program outline over here so right on top of the rectangle let's choose our test tool so we go for our test tool make sure that anytime you are writing in shapes you hold shift so we hold shift and then we left click and then we can type our program outline over there now let's press ctrl t and transform it up we press ctrl a and then we can center it horizontally now you press ctrl d and then you can push this up or you reposition it it has to be somewhere around here this place is fine next up you're going to create a rectangle so we go for the rectangle tool again and then you are going to create a rectangle over here the first one is going to be a very short one we will double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then we are going to change the color to white afterwards we click on ok i think this looks a bit bigger so you press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that now you're going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j so ctrl j right over here you hold shift and then you can drag it to the right side like this you press ctrl t and for this one you can extend it up to be a little bit longer like this now once you're done with this we can then put in our test so let's go for our test tool and then we are going to type in here so what we are trying to create over here is we are going to create the date on the left side and then the activity is going to be on the right side so you press ctrl v to paste your date or your test let me press ctrl t to transform it you can then hit enter and take your time to reposition it so the first one is going to be let's say monday so we are going to do this throughout the rest of the day so monday to saturday or monday to friday depending on the number of days that the program stretches okay so after you're done with this you're going to make a duplicate ctrl j and then you can drag it to this side so for this side we are not going to keep it center aligned like the date we are going to keep it left aligned but then let's bring in our activity first so now that you paste this one over here you can drag it to the left side somewhere around here should be fine so what we're going to do now is we're going to group all of these into one group so we select from the morning exercise the date and the two rectangles that we created you hold shift and then you select them and then you can group that and call it say monday now from here we are going to make duplicates of this so you make a duplicate ctrl plus j and then you can drag it slightly beneath this so something like that should be fine so all that you're going to do is you're going to change here so monday this is the next one is going to be tuesday the following one is going to be wednesday so ctrl j again to duplicate that that is going to be wednesday you make one more duplicate and that is going to be thursday one more duplicate and then that is going to be friday if the spacing is not really helping out you can just close it up later on after you're done with this i'm going to show you how you can automatically distribute this but then 
if you realize that your spacing is not really helping you out just make sure that you close it up so that you can have space to add more okay so you can select this one too and close up the space so let's make one more duplicate and don't worry about the spaces that are not even okay afterwards i'm going to show you how to equally spread the spaces so that all of them becomes even but what you need to know here is that you are going to make duplicates for the number of days that you are going to make the changes and after you've done this the rest of the things is going to be you changing the days over here so the next one is going to be tuesday wednesday and like that okay so we're done with tuesday you select the next one and it is going to be wednesday so you select your test tool you highlight on that and then you can edit the day to the very day that you are changing it to so this wednesday thursday friday and saturday it goes like that okay and don't forget to change the days or the date also so this one too is going to be thursday now after you've done all of these changes for the date you do the same thing for the event so you are going to select the event or the day and its corresponding event and then you are going to replace it or change it to the event that is on that date so for instance tuesday is going to be this particular event if it is too much or if the test is too big you just press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that some of the tests are going to be much plenty than the other one so you can just replace or you can just transform it to fit the circle and then you are going to go on and on with this so you are just going to be replacing each of the activities with its corresponding date so let's say wednesday is going to be this and then you realize from here that here says morning float afternoon so to make sure that that is distinguishing you can just select the morning and give it a different color say red okay so you go to the color palette and then you are going to give it a different color red you click ok and then we do the same thing for the afternoon so those time of the day is going to stand out and then the activity in itself is going to be, remain in the dark green so let's give this one also red you click on ok and then you continue to do the same thing for the rest of the activities all right so after taking your time to arrange all of this you're going to or you're supposed to have something like this to make sure that you don't get confused you can go through your groups one after the other and then you rename it according to this can be very confusing but then you need to just take your time and get this done now i remember i told you i'm going to show you how to easily distribute all of these evenly so that all the spaces becomes equal all i need to do is select the first one that you made so in this case monday we can edit all of these to their various names so this is going to be tuesday the following one is going to be wednesday so you double click on the name and then you edit it as such so wednesday afterwards you're going to select so monday you hold shift and then you select the last one which is saturday okay you make sure that all the groups are selected and now you go to layer arrange distribute and then you can say distribute vertically so you realize that they are arranged vertically over here okay so distribute vertically and then you realize that all the spaces are going to be distributed evenly now if you check the space from here to here it is the same as this from here to here and vice versa so that is how after everything after taking your time to make all your changes you can distribute this evenly now we are almost done with this the last touch ups that we are going to add to this will be some design elements that we got from online as well so the first element you go to file place embedded and then you can bring in your first element so it is going to be an element that i downloaded online just bring it in here and it is already self positioned i actually edited it to be like that so that i don't have to suffer for it okay so you are going to position it somewhere around here to create a style okay the src looks very boring and very lonely over there so let's make one more duplicate ctrl plus j press ctrl t and then you can transform it so right click and flip it horizontal you right click again and then you can flip it vertical and now we can bring that one also over here and just like that you create a very simple 
a good looking SRC week program outline for your school or for your clients. I'll be getting value out of this video. If you did, a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts about this design. What do you think? What do you think could have been done better? Or what do you think I could have added to make this better? Don't forget that link to download the resources will be in the description as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye.